r slash atheism. Theriul says. Does anyone else enjoy it when the religious try to convert them? I honestly love it, but I'm pretty good at using their logic slash arguments against them. Mr. Clark says. I find it a little adorable that they think they can just go, but just look at the trees, and that's supposed to convince me. Past that I don't really enjoy it. Theriul says. That is one of my favorite arguments that they make. Try saying something, like you've convinced me, you just showed me evidence that the pagans were right, that means Odin and Thor are real, I better be good, so I don't go to hell him like the rest of you godless heathens, and attribute it to any other god and they will lose their minds. Jackie Daytona underscore 61 says. I don't enjoy it at all. I live in the US. Bible Belt and have had to deal with condescending religious hypocrites my whole life. I'm non-confrontational and just want to live my life in peace, as most folks do. If you enjoy it, though, more power to you. It's good that they know that not everyone will just walk away from their nonsense. Much Development 7084 says. Actually, it gets a bit annoying. I've had three transplants and they keep telling me that God loves me so much that he just keeps saving my life. My response tend in the direction of, if he loves me so much. Why did he give me these issues in the first place? He has a plan. Really? His plan is to torture me for years on end? It gets really really old. Flying Squid says. It can be fun on reddit, but I wouldn't enjoy it in an offline setting much. Tog Station says. I've been doing this for 50 years now. I haven't seen an original argument since the Reagan administration. Personally, I'm mighty sick of religious stupidity. Guys, either prove your case, or stop using the same tired bad arguments that don't prove your case. Fushij of Banner 4 says. I think the further removed you are the more entertaining it can get. I moved from a very religious area to a very non-religious area. I probably have only one person a year try and convert me now, and I just laugh at them. But if you're surrounded every day it feels more like a survival mechanism, and that's not fun. Lazy underscore example 4014 says. I do actually enjoy having the conversation. It is entertaining to see them attempt to squirm around facts. Nate underscore 084 says. I prefer to be left alone when it comes to my lack of religious beliefs. I do the same by not engaging theists in any sort of conversation regarding their beliefs. You can enjoy the debate all you like, but you're more than likely just spinning your wheels. Orthotum Frist says. One Christmas season, I worked at the app on the edge of Rockefeller Center. A missionary walked up to me and asked if I'd heard the word of Jesus Christ. I pretended to be foreign, and acted like I'd never heard of this Jesus Christ fellow. You would have thought he won the lottery by how excited he got trying to convert me. I'm still laughing about it 20 years later. R slash atheism. Mrementrix says. Strict Christs don't want to vote. My friend's parents don't want to vote saying they don't want to interfere with God's plan. I really can't find words for this. They are giving up free will, apparently aren't a part of God's almightly plan themselves, and would rather live in a dictatorship than in a democracy. Raven080068 says. That's okay. Let the Christophersists forego their right to vote. Less fascism for the rest of us. Mr. Evga says. Honestly, if they have these kinds of opinions, we may be better off with them not voting. Bob Hajibus says. If they want dictatorship, I'm happy they choose not to vote. The us is being destroyed by far-right Christians. Flying Squid says. Good. Grouchy Culture 3946 says. They are just another couple of people who have never read the Bible and blindly accept whatever is preached at them. I would encourage them to not vote. Duxpix says. This is a good thing. 
The less morons like this have a say, the better it is. Electric Pence says. Puny God can't handle a democratic process. Squid Saline says. One small step from I don't want to look when crossing the road, it's all part of God's plan and I don't want to eat. Zalaus Idilfakus 53 says. I they are choosing not to vote, to not interfere with God's plan then they are clearly not smart enough to make an informed and well reasoned choice on who to vote for. Kolkra Kirkid says. Well, they are exercising their free will in an odd way, but bless their hearts. Rivtum says. What kind of, conch, deity has its will thwarted by simple votes? Imaginary underscore chair underscore 6958 says. Why do anything then? Don't want to interfere with God's plan. Which apparently includes a lot of violent death, misery, and suffering. Next says. Not voting doesn't mean you want to live in a dictatorship. Voting for Republicans means you want to live in a dictatorship. We are all better off if these people don't vote. For that matter, it's actually part of their religion to not interfere in corporal matters. Paul said that God appoints those who rule over us, that's how we got the divine right of kings. Jesus said to render unto Caesar his due when paying taxes, even when Rome was an occupying force and those taxes went to keeping the legions in Israel. I'll take these nut jobs 10 times out of 10 over the dominion nut jobs that want their theocracy here on earth. As Traveller says. Please don't vote. According ad 5946 says. Ask them or have your friend ask. How do you know that them voting isn't part of God's plan? Pithecanthropus 88 says. Do they pray? If so, isn't that also interfering with God's plan? Wakachu says. This is actually a good thing. Pedalanaba Bershop says. Maga, the vote was rigged, Democrat, you are correct, don't waste your time voting anymore. R slash atheism. P3 Rasuski says. I wish religious people could see the world from an objective point of view for just one day. Especially missionaries and hardcore religious people make me sadder over time. I don't mean any harm, or wish anything bad for a single person, but I can't express how much it would mean to me, if religious people could just see the world objectively for a single day, and make up their minds. Yes, everyone would stop believing, this has been on my mind for a few weeks now and today is the day my fuse actually caught on fire. I have been in a relationship with a Christian girl I know what. You think, but I'm not here to discuss this. We have been together for 6 years now, and I don't love her religion, but her as a person and I really do not care much about future topics, that will come up, as long as there's respect for each other's beliefs. I'm willing to end even this long relationship, when that basis is no longer given. Skip the paragraphs in brackets, if you don't care about the personal backstory and only the stuff more relevant to this sub. Backslash anyways, the reason I'm writing this specifically is music, though, I'm convinced you can apply this whole text to almost anything in life. I enjoy listening to heavy music, what a stereotype of a non-believer for many narrow-minded people, and obviously that's about the devil. Right? We all know that, well, at least religious people do. My girlfriend never liked it, but accepted it, and didn't say a word about it up to this day. She listens to a lot of worship music which I personally find totally horrible. Now, today she expressed. Her concerns about the fact in going to a Ramstein concert this summer. Stating the band is satanic dark powers are present on their concerts and whatnot. Great thing is she's on a 5 week trip at the moment and didn't have the guts to talk about it before leaving. Yes, suboptimal, I know, I know. Anyone who has looked at their texts knows that's bullshit and the truth is that they're just often criticizing religion and society, for example. I just stated my point of view briefly, and said we're finishing that discussion. Wench's back. Still, I was interested in where she got that information about the band being satanic, etc. 
So backslash, I read up on some Christian forums, because my girlfriend expressed her feelings towards my lack of belief, and damn why can't these people just accept other points of view, like we do in this community? We don't have to get involved in their personal lives face to face, or on the internet, and tell them to stop believing, simply live and let live, I normally don't deal with religion more than necessary. I do. Enjoy learning about it to the extent that it contributes to understanding different points of view and also mine, but that's it. Know your enemy, right? And what I read over the last couple of minutes really got my blood boiling. If everybody just keeps their business to themselves, I'm fine with different ideologies and worldviews, although you can't truly deny science. There are too many people who think everything that doesn't fit in their belief system is satanic. They can't explain it, so it must be wrong. They don't know. Details they judge. It isn't what they were told by their parents or priests it's got to be the devil's work. I know this isn't a new thing, I just saw too much of that during the last weeks and needed to rant. I see the problem on a personal level and don't need relationship advice, also because I know what people here will say and I will sort this out for myself. I'm just venting, and thought some people in this awesome community cared about my thoughts. Unclehook says. You can't reason people out of something they didn't reason themselves into. Bigel Swart says. Thoughts and prayers. J slash K. It sucks mate, it is hard, because belief is core identity for some folks and others it is obtuse. I hope you work it all out. It is frustrating to say the least, that many belief structures make the outgrup seem dangerous. Religion is so insular, it removes the ability to empathize with other people, and instead view their positions in contrast to their own. Glenn Glenda says. That can't get out of everyone's business, because they are a business. And much like a pyramid scheme, the ones at the top need the ones at the bottom to go yell in the streets so the money, and the fresh meat, keeps trickling in. Minimum underscore storage underscore 9373 says. Nobody sees the world from an objective point of view. No such point of view exists. Jeff underscore Portnoy1 says. I have found myself forgetting what it was like to be a brainwashed believer. I see my Mormon friends and family, and in my head I start thinking they don't actually believe in the church that much. But then I log into Facebook, and see them there there I know this church is true testimony, and I'm so blown away. Just today it happened, and I was so shocked, that this person I know actually believes so strongly in the church. I feel so bad, but there isn't a thing I can do. So much shame being used to keep them in. Amused says. You're a strong man, I wouldn't be able to date someone who believes in dark powers. That's not even Christianity, Satan, and God are Christianity, but dark powers created by music are straight out of pagan precursors of the Abrahamic religions. Good luck and have fun at the concert. Ridlama91 says. Religious people just wish we could see the truth and light for a moment as well. The chat doctor says. I got a rat, point out that Black Sabbath is a Christian band, if you read the lyrics it's a good gateway. Ozzy sings about resisting Satan, and fighting evil and temptation. Into the Void, is about blasting off of a corrupted earth, to escape Satan and his slaves. Sabbath is clear gateway metal. I mean they wear big chrome crosses FFS, Ozzy, the prince of darkness, you can probably get your wife into Sabbath. Warpigs paints a picture that politicians who started Vietnam were Satan's minions. Dude a lot of their songs are totally acceptable or palatable to even a devout Christian. The chat doctor says. Dark powers lol she believes Lord of the Rings belongs in the non-fiction section. Enjoy Ramstein. If she wants to hear satanic you should start listening to Behemoth, Mayhem, Deicide etc. What's your most unacceptable band choice to her? Curious personally. When I was a kid Metallica and Megadeth were like a no-go, but of course I made my own mixtapes of Metallica. Nowadays I listen to a ton of tech death like in 3.
That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.